Hello, my YouTube family. Thank you for being here with me today. I am Ramelda and I will be preparing Bahamian Conky Kong Fritters. If you want to see how this is done, continue watching. For this dish, you're going to need some fresh conks. Now, my husband is right here taking them out of the shell. That's the man's job. Thank you, hon. I have four fresh conks. And he has the skill on how to do, to do that. All right, that's the last one. Now, here I am. I am tenderizing the conk on, the, on my cutting board with the meat tenderizer. These conks have, have already been cleaned and skinned. Now after tenderizing them, I'm just cutting them up into little bits for the conch fritters. Now I want to taste conch in every bite. Conky. Okay, for this you're gonna need the conch of course, some celery, bell pepper, onion, red pepper flakes, garlic salt, baking powder, flour, and water. Okay, I'm gonna start with the celery. I'm gonna cut these up in little fine cubes. running my knife through it for to make sure they're not so big okay next is the green bell pepper some people put ripe tomatoes or even tomato paste I'm not using any of those today my fritters are gonna be white inside so that's the bell pepper Next is the onion. I don't like chopping onions. I'm not playing with this. Okay, now after that is cut up, I'm going to season the flour with the garlic salt. Just season, seasoning the flour with the garlic salt and the pepper flakes. Once that is seasoned, you wouldn't have any problem seasoning the batter when it's finished. To that, I'm adding the conch onion, bell pepper, and the celery that I had cut up on the board. Now I'm gonna mix that together. Oh, and also some thyme. Now I wouldn't be putting the stems in this. I'm just pulling off the leaves. Take that little piece out. Okay, now I'll just combine that together with the flour and the other herbs. Now I'm gonna just add a little bit of baking powder so that when I'm mixing it, it wouldn't be too stiff. But you're gonna need more than that. Here comes the water. Now the mixing begins. Okay. Just like that. The little bit of baking powder I added would make it, so it makes it easier to stir. Now I'm mixing that all together. Okay, now I'm gonna need a small teaspoon, a teaspoon as well as a frying spoon. Now I need to add more baking powder to this before I fry it.
So you're gonna need a little pot like so and the oil. I'm putting the oil into the pot. And I've also added some more baking powder into the batter that I've made. About a spoon, teaspoonful and a half. There you have it. That's the conch for the batter. Man, oh man, look at the conch. Ooh, all of those chunks you see is conch. That's why it's called conchy conch for this. All right, just like that. And you just spoon it into the hot oil. Now don't crowd the pot too much. You want them to have enough space to move around freely. All right, they are rolling. That's Kong Fritters. Conky Kong Fritters. They are ready to come out, okay. Now I have the, I'm gonna place them onto the plate. On the plate I have a piece of paper towel to suck up some of the oil. Just like that. Nice and crunchy conch fritters. The second batch. Now I'm gonna also show you how to make the, the sauce for the fritters. So continue watching. There you have it. These here are the ingredients for the conch fritter sauce. You're gonna need a whisk, a measuring container, some Hellman's mayo, mustard, ketchup, hot sauce, and a little bit of sugar. And maybe a spoonful of water, depending on how thick or how thin you like it. Okay. I'm giving everything a quick mix with my whisk. Okay, I'm just putting one spoonful of water. All right. That's the sauce to put on those bad boys. Yes, that's it. Uh-huh. Now I'm giving it a quick test. I am doing the testing. All right. And there you have it. Bahamian conky conch fritters. Thank you for watching and try some today.